Taste is also very important in the processes of digestion. You digest in that same sequence of tastes. You take food into your mouth, and initially there's a kapha phase of digestion. It's followed after an hour or two by pitta phase of digestion, followed by another two hours by a vata phase of digestion. So the kapha phase of digestion, kapha is associated with that earth and water element. So sweet is earth and water. Therefore, initially, this, this stage of digestion starts with the juices in the mouth. Kapha is water. Um, so in the mouth, the saliva, and then in the stomach, the mucus in the stomach. These are predominant kapha influences. And it's interesting that the sugars start being digested right from here. So the sweet taste starts being just right from your mouth. And at this stage of digestion, it's the first hour, you feel heavy and dull. Have you noticed that? So that's the kapha phase of digestion from that water earth elements. So the mucus in your stomach, the water element, is protecting the stomach against the acid because now we move into the sour stage of digestion. And this acid is the, the fire element because remember the sour stage is earth and fire elements. And how do you feel now? You still feel heavy, but the fire element is starting to bring you some lightness, so that heaviness is starting to wear off. And the acids go to work now, and they're starting to digest proteins and fats here. So we move on, the food moves on into the jejunum, into the du duodenum, the first stage of the small intestine. <laughs> and as it does so, the acids in the stomach they meet al alkalis from pancreatic juice and salts are created. And it's interesting, Ayurveda calls this the salty phase of digestion. And the salts are useful then to break down fat globules to emulsify them so that we can start um, digesting them better. At this stage, water and fire elements, we're feeling lighter again. And we're more into the pitta phase of digestion now. Um, so we're digesting fat, protein, carbohydrate, they're all being digested now. This, the food moves on. It moves into the next stage of the duodenum, the jejunum. And we're moving now into pungent phase of digestion. Pungent is, remember, air and fire elements. The fire is, is obvious there in all the pungent enzymes, which are now digesting all the foods in the jejunum. And um, there's an increasing heat that you're feeling and an increasing circulation from this fire element as you go about your activities now. But the air element is there with the fire, and the air starts to give maybe some gases. But it also gives the movements in the intestine, moving things along, and, and promotes the absorption. So the absorption of nutrients is now beginning very dramatically under the influence of the air element. We move into the lower part, the major part of the intestine, they, we moved into the ileum, and here the bitter stage of digestion happens, and that's the ether and air elements. So again, the air is promoting that movement and that absorption, and the ether is also, or space element, is also helping that. At this stage, we're going into vata phase of digestion. We're cooling down now, the pit is calm. The food now moves into the large colon, and this is the astringent stage of digestion. Remember, astringent is earth and air elements. So the air is continuing to help the absorption and the movement of things along. And now, with, the space, with, with that air element, there's a returning lightness, and we're starting to get hungry again. The earth element starts to come into play more to solidify the feces. So it's fascinating, actually, that taste is going on all through this phase of digestion. And we're absorbing in, these, in this manner these tastes. So having experienced the whole concept of taste during digestion, there is that concept of potency or virya. As soon as you eat a food, it has an effect. Its, its potency or its strength or its active principle affects you immediately. And Ayurveda describes that in terms of heating or cooling. 
So this virya is working through all the agonies, the digestive fires, and the heating virya will will be something like a chili, will be very heating. Whereas something like milk or uh, uh, yogurt is cooling. And so there's that energy immediately, it either stimulates the fire, <coughs> it increases your digestion, it increases your metabolism, your body temperature can increase, your circulation improves. This is the heating virya. So it pacifies vata and kapha. Whereas the cooling virya, the cooling energy, a food that has cooling energy will pacify pitta, cool you down. It'll pacify inflammations and irritations, and it'll promote more tissue building, and it reduces circulation. So it's, a, it's fascinating again, here's a separate perspective on the influence of food that you've immediately swallowed, and how it's impacting on your metabolisms. Now, in general, the sweet, the sour, the sweet taste, and the bitter taste and the astringent taste are cooling in their virya. They have a cooling effect. Because these three tastes lack the fire element. Whereas the sour, the salty, and the pungent taste have the fire element, they are heating in nature, right? But that's a general thing. There are exceptions, like honey and molasses. They're both very sweet. They should, therefore, be cooling, but they have a heating energy. If you have honey, it heats you up, it improves your metabolism, it increases your circulation. So that's going against what you would expect. And that's why it's necessary to have another way of analyzing foods, because you get new qualities and properties of the food described. In the same way, lime or lemon is very sour. You'd expect it to heat you up. In fact, it's quite cooling, so pittas can use lemons. Then, in the processes of digestion, we come to a phase where the process of food has been digested and it is now being absorbed. And it's strange that Ayurveda can go on to describe that it has a particular taste at this stage. It's not that you imagine that you could taste food in your colon, but in reality, the effects of the food in the body are described in terms of three fundamental post digestive tastes. Sweet, sour, and pungent. And again, sweet tastes generally go on, even after digestion, to have a sweet vipaka, or after digestion effect. Whereas the sour and salty tastes, they tend to turn sour in digestion. And the pungent, bitter, and astringent, the last three tastes, they in turn cause a pungent after digestive effect or taste. Now, the importance of this is that, again, there are exceptions to the rule which give more insight into some foods and their effects. But the sweet vipaka, the, the sweet taste after digestion taste, will increase your kapha and promote tissue growth and promotes elimination. Whereas the sour vipaka increases the pitta, the metabolism, and the acidity in body fluids. And the pungent vipaka will increase vata and the breakdown of body tissues.